Hey, seventh graders, I'm going to show you how to organize your data now that you have all of your responses. So make sure that you have your Google form pulled up kind of like this. Pause the video if you need to and then come back. Once you have it, you're going to click on responses. And this gives us lots of data. Like for our very first question, we um, have to do a circle graph on the population. And so we have, like I have 104 kids and I have 97 adults, and I'm gonna, just gonna make note of that. Um, but what I really need it for, um, to organize my data for is here. Like, do you think Pop-Tarts are a junk food, breakfast food or junk food? Well, I know that 89 said junk food and 112 said breakfast food, but it doesn't allow me to compare my adults to my kids. So I'm gonna show you how to organize it so that you can compare your adults and your kids. So the best way to do that is this button right here where it says view in sheets. So once you click that, it's gonna bring up Google Sheets for you, which I love having all this information here, but right now, if I scroll down, it's not very organized. There's an adult here, a bunch of kids, then more adults, and then adults and kids kind of all together. So what I wanna do is I want to sort this data so that it um, is all my adults are in one section, all my kids are in one section, and I can easily see what adults said breakfast food, which one said junk food, which kids said breakfast food, which kids said junk food. So while you're watching this video, I want you to think about what data do you need to organize in this way? Most of the time it's a question kind of like this with multiple choice. Now, if you don't have any questions that have multiple choice, then um, you can still do it with your numerical data. It's just gonna be like, if you have a scale of one to five or a scale of one to 10, it's just gonna be more things um, for you to do. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you wanna select every single thing. Rather than dragging all the way down, what I wanna do is I wanna click this button right here between the A and the one that highlights every single thing for you, okay? So did you see what I did right there? Okay, now I'm gonna go up to where it says data. Then I'm gonna click sort range, actually not click, hover down to sort range, but I'm gonna actually click on the one that says advanced range sorting options. So click there. Then you wanna click data has a header row because it does. And then you wanna sort by two things. The first thing we're gonna sort by is our population question. I wanna put, are you an adult or a kid? I'm gonna sort that. Then I wanna add another sorting column. And for me, I've got the, do you think Pop-Tarts are a breakfast food or junk food? And then how many days on average do you eat them? So I wanna sort by the one that says, do you think Pop-Tarts are a breakfast food and junk food? And then I'm gonna sort, and now, all my kids are listed with breakfast food. All my kids listed for junk food. At the very top, all my adults are listed for breakfast food and all my adults are listed for junk food, okay? The next thing I wanna do is start collecting that data. So I'm gonna make myself over to the side. I'm gonna say adult breakfast, adult junk, kid, breakfast and kid junk. Now for the next one, I'm going to go through and basically just do some counting. Um, I don't want to count all of these. So an easy way for me is to, I know that row one is a header so I can subtract one, but I'm going to go down to where adults say it's a breakfast food. And because this is 38, I need to subtract one and that's 37. So 37 adults said breakfast food or excuse me, yeah, 37 adults said breakfast food. Now for junk food, remember, I left it off at 38. So what I can do is go down here and we're at 98. So I'm gonna do 98, 98 which I can do this in my head, 98 minus 38. Now, if you'll notice, I stopped here, but then I subtracted, I didn't subtract from 39, I subtracted from 38 because 39 is counting. So I'm gonna do 98 minus 38, and I can do that in my head, that's 50. And it makes sense because if I add those together, is it 50, 98 minus 38, 60, good night. I promise I can count, guys. All right, so 98 minus 38 is 60. 
And that makes sense because I had 97 adults. Now I'm going to do kids the same way. Now, the kids are overwhelming kids said breakfast food. So an easy way to do this is go down to the very bottom. I had 202. I'm going to do junk food. And then I'm going to go to 173. Now this one, I'm going to 202 minus 173. And I had 29 kids say that it's junk food. Scroll back up here. 29 kids says junk food. Now, for the kids that said it's breakfast food, remember I had, what was it, 104? So all I need to do is 104 minus 29, and that'll tell me. That way I don't have to go through and count all of those because that's going to be a lot of counting. So 75 kids said breakfast food. Now, next part on this is we're going to turn these into percentages because these are numbers, which is fine, but what if you have, like for me, I had 104 kids and I had 97 adults. And so if I leave it like this, it might throw my percentages off. Some of you all had a ton of kids and only a few adults. And so you, you know, yours is going to be way off. So we're going to turn these into percentages. So here's the best way to turn it into percentages on the Google Sheets. We're going to, we're going to apply a equation on here. So you're going to type in equal sign. And then because I had 37 adults that said breakfast, I'm going to do 37. And then I'm going to do this um, um, division, the division bar. So 37 divided by how many adults I had total, which was 97. So I'm going to do 37 divided by 97. And then for uh, adults breakfast, I'm going to do the same thing. 60 divided by 97. Or excuse me, that was junk. And then for kids, I had 104 kids. So I'm going to say, oh. I forgot my equal sign. See what happens if you don't put your equal sign in. So I'm going to do equals 60 divided by 97. And then on this one, I'm going to do equals 75 divided by 104 because I had 104 kids. And then the last one equals 29 divided by 104. Now equals 29 divided by 104. Okay. Now I have my percentages. And if you want to make them easier, you can say... 38%, 60. This one rounds to 62% because of the 61.8. This one is 72% and 20, 30, wait, 27%, right? 27, 27%. Okay. So that doesn't, that adds up to 99, which is okay. Um, that's overwhelmingly, so 27, did I do that right? Yep, that's 104, 75, 20 times 104. Okay, just making sure I did everything correctly. Um, so that is how we calculate the uh, percentages for this. We're going to use this data to create our um, first bar graph. Um, the comparative bar graph. So after you watch this video and you want to make the comparative bar graph, then you can do that. Um, hope this helps. Have a great day.